So in this video, I will show you how to solve this error. So prop dot is looking for something called dot executable. So to solve that, you will need to install a library called graphics graphic vis. So you have to go and download graphic vis from this thing here. Just Google for graphic vis download and you will come to this link and just download graphic vis. And after downloading and installing graphic vis, you can just start your prop dot. And when you start prop dot, it will ask you for the path to graphic vis. Let me show you. So I'm just going to close this project first. So I'm going to run prop dot now. Click OK, and here you have to supply the path to the dot exe. So the dot exe is found in this path, program files, graphic vis, bin. After you've done that, then you click OK. Now you can use your prop dot. So in order to use prop dot, you have to get the output from Procmon. So click on this one to go to the Procmon export file which is a .csv file and then click open it. After that, you click on launcher here and you analyze your Procmon CSV file. Once it's finished with the analysis, select the target that you are analyzing and then click on refresh and it will generate the interactive graph as you can see it has successfully generated the graph now before you can use the procmon csv file the output must be set first so you need to open the readme file where product is installed and then see how to configure your Procmon output. This is the important step to follow. So you need to open your Procmon and then over here click on options and then make sure you uncheck show resolve network address this one should be unchecked and then after that uh, adjust the display column option select column select column and then over here not show the sequence column so you must disable the sequence column this one i think yeah and then next thing is you must show the thread id column and click ok then only you export it save it all events under here select csv and then click ok save it after you have saved it then only you can use your your proc dot to open that file and do the visualization that's all i hope this helps you guys thank you for watching